Hi, I wanted to do another close-up review of this card deck as well. It's such a great deck that I actually am going to start using more often. It's the Angels of Abundance Oracle Cards from Doreen Virtue and Grant Virtue. I've actually had these for a while and they kept in really good condition. And you know when you don't use cards for a while and then you find them again and they're really on target and they're great for assisting with abundance and advice on that level? On attracting and gaining more abundance within your life um, so I really like these cards and I kind of while doing these reviews found them again and I'm enjoying using them again so I wanted to do a quick review on these um, it comes in a great box I mean you would never know that I've had this for many years already it even still shines with a beautiful angel on the cover and let me show you it comes with the guidebook a great thick guidebook actually and um, open it up it will have a black and white picture it will have the keywords that's on the card and it will go into length it will have like two or three pages to describe but you can use the guidebook or you can actually just use the cards because it's right the messages are right on the cards but if you dabble in the guidebook the guidebook I really like what it says also in the guidebook so you can take a peek at that as well so let me show you the cards. I love the backs of the cards. They're really pretty. So these are the backs of the cards. Really pretty cards. Um, they're not gilded. It's on a great card stock. Very flexible, easy to shuffle. But let me show you the front. So of course it's Doreen Virtue, so it's really lovely, angelic, soft images. Um, it will have the keywords on top, positivity, faith, and optimism. And then on the bottom, it will go into a full description. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. So even though, you know, it seems like a very soft deck and soft images, I really do appreciate the meanings on the cards themselves. They're deeper than you think and it really gives great advice. Um, so let me show you the cards. And at the end, I'll pull a card and read from the guidebook so you can get a feel. But this is positivity, faith, and optimism. God is your source. It's a really angelic, beautiful. Savings. Cooperation instead of competition. Raise or promotion. Really pretty. Face your financial fears. Declutter. That's a big one. Deservingness. It is safe for you to receive. So this all helps. It's all in the realm of abundance. You know, how to achieve more abundance, stay in the abundance mindset, what's blocking you, get rid of it. Clearing debts. Clean energy food. Moonlighting, conscious consumer, windfall or abundance, dreams of abundance, release resentments about money, obstacles and blocks are lifted, unlimited ideas, no more complaining, release jealousy, pay yourself first, employment change, detox your friendships. See, they're deep. I mean, you know, despite the soft image in the angels, um, these are very good messages. Focus on your priorities, let go of guilt, have courage to ask for and accept help, words of abundance, block out distractions, Attracting, not chasing. Sever vows of poverty. Gratitude list. Take a divinely guided chance. Bountiful nature. Visualize abundance in all forms. And that's what's on the cover. So I like that. Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings, and that is what you will experience.
lovely, visualize. Successful funding, exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities, partnership, donations, tithing, and charitable work, quiet retreat, ask for your needs to be met, beautiful, organized for success, do the work, power of prayer, and abundance mindset. That's actually what I pulled the other day. Anyway, let's see um, what the card is for us today. For anybody who catches this video, let's see what messages that they have to save that book. And I'll read from the guidebook so you get a full picture of the experience. What is the message for anybody who catches this video? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow, they really want to say something. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Ooh. Have courage to ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Wow. Okay. Let's see what it says in the guidebook for that. Um, let's see how it goes. Have the courage. I believe it's in alphabetical order. And actually it is. Okay, have the courage to ask for and accept help. Have you been trying to do everything on your own, dear one? Because this card is signaling that you need help but have been reluctant to ask for it. Asking for help takes courage. I'm gonna show you the card while I read it actually. Because asking for help takes courage. Often we feel that doing so is a sign of weakness or that it burdens someone else. This unwillingness to ask for what we need can have a negative spiral effect. The longer we go without asking for help, the longer we go without receiving any. If this pattern continues on long enough, we can even come to the erroneous viewpoint that there is no help to be had at all. God and the angels reassure you that they are without limitation. They can be in as many places at once as they are needed. You can never bother them. No problem is too large and no issue too trivial. They don't have physical bodies, so they can never tire. Having the courage to ask for help from God, Jesus, the angels, or another person is an important step towards manifesting abundance. It is such a powerful step that it is almost instantly rewarded by an answer. Tune into how your body and mind feel immediately afterward. You may be receiving on-the-spot guidance as to how you can co-create the abundance you are asking for. Flashes of inspiration, sudden invitations or job offers, and other signs present themselves to those who take this leap of faith. So definitely have the courage to ask for and accept help. And um, that's the message for all of us. But again, they're really lovely cards. And I love that it's all about abundance and attracting abundance and staying in that abundant mindset. If you believe in law of attraction and removing those blocks and you can have it all and go for it. And th this is the guidebook, Angels of Abundance, Story and Virtue, Grant Virtue, if you want to find it. This is the box, Angels of Abundance, Oracle Cards, and it is a 44-card deck and guidebook, Doreen Virtue and Grant Virtue. Really love this deck, so wanted to pass it along. Check out my channel for other up-close reviews. You might find some other tarot cards or oracle cards that you like, and take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.